Yo, what up, what up, fam? My name is Wilson. Welcome to the Crank Hustle channel where I'll talk about all things food delivery. I'm getting started this morning with a catering order here on this beautiful Sunday morning. My first order of the day, and uh, I got my big catering bag. She's gonna give me a box, and I think she told me that the customer. They already sent her the food, but she complained that the food wasn't hot. So I wonder what happened, you know? Food food got cold all along the way. So when she said that, I'm like, you know what? Let's let's uh let's play it safe. Let's put it in the hot bag right away. That way uh it doesn't get cold. And I'm gonna show you guys how I set it up right now. Here's the first bag. And I think I have a couple more. So a customer complained that their food was not warm, which is crazy. Um, customer just got a bunch of free food, but uh, it's only an eight dollar order. It didn't have the little plus sign, so I don't think I'm gonna get anything uh, more than that. I mean, if I do, I, I hope it's. But if the customer had to reorder it, that means that uh, she probably removed any type of tip. So that sucks. I'll ask her right now. Is this the second order or is it the same? Oh. Hmm, she said it's the same one. Yeah, it's, it's what I'm thinking, no? Para agarrar lo doble, gratis. Damn. Wow. All right, so this is a hot one. I'm just gonna seal it up. Um, she's telling me sometimes customers do this to get free food. Uh, and if that's the case, um, the customer could be extra. So I just gotta do my part so they don't trip on me because uh, don't want to get no rating. I probably won't get a tip. This order is probably just one of those. Which in the in the end it doesn't kind of make it worth it. Eight just eight dollars. But I want to try out my new setup because I'm a, I must I, I started leaving my extra little ba small backpack at home. I'm just bringing this bad boy. This one I could just tie up to the top of the backpack. And then uh, whatever she gives me, I could put underneath. I'll show you guys right now. I'm putting this to the test. All right, so very interesting delivery. We got a customer who complained that the food was not hot, but uh, it's interesting how the food wasn't hot, but they requested to send everything again. That includes coffee cups, plates. You know, this is for this is supposed to be for ten people. So I'm pretty sure they got refunded for the last order and now they're getting another order. Uh, basically free, which is wild because that's like, you know, they're getting double the, the food for the, for essentially 50% off. And, and knowing that story, 100%, I'm not even going to get a tip. It's literally just going to be $8 which is uh, terrible considering all the time I spent here already. I had to wait like 15, 20 minutes down there. But uh, it's all good. Let's just get this done and move forward with the day. All right, so gotta strap this down here. Or not tip over my damn scooter. All right, this one's pretty cool because I could kind of spread them out. All right, it's good. Let's bounce. Yeah, this is basically my new setup. So I just stack them on top. I don't have to worry about a weight limit because most of the weight is on my scooter. And a little bit sticks out on, over the rack. All right, let's go. Wow, 
that thing just flew out on the highway <laughs> the whole thing just flew out that's hilarious oh well that setup's not gonna work yep that thing is gone all right well i'm gonna have to call door to just let him know that food was lost dang i lost my bag totally not worth it <laughs> that's so funny <laughs> this customer is gonna be pissed all right anyway let me call doordash it didn't fly out it is right here <laughs> oh shit it was it was flying on the freeway oh my god look i burnt my bag dang i should have double i should have freaking double wrap this thing well the good thing is just sandwiches all right cool look <laughs> look at the food <laughs> whoops well at least i didn't lose the bag completely oh that kind of saves me the headache with doordash all right i'm just gonna drop it off and i'm out i'm bouncing all right, so for some reason, my audio didn't record on this clip. So I'm just going to kind of walk you guys through it. So I'm over here taking off the bungee cord because I pulled up at the location. And I'm over here hoping for the best because, you know, as like I said, this foot was dragging on the ground. Me being completely unaware, it flew off in the freeway. And then I open it. I'm literally opening it in front of the customer. And I'm like, okay. It looks good there's a little bit of like see the bottom right there's like some a uh, little bit of food that came out of the the gray the, the aluminum tin which is not bad everything was just kind of off to one side obviously all these bags are going to be good coffee is going to be good it's just everything that was in that bag literally flew off and uh yep per usual uh just i mean uh, what i expected eight dollars no tip so i mean i don't really feel bad about the delivery I think the girl was just trying to work the system to get some free food and clearly not leaving the tip. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Uh, I guess the rest of the clip should have audio, but I had to throw in this audio clip in there just so there's like some kind of audio. Honestly, that worked out way better than completely losing the food. If I would have lost the food, it would have been a pain because I would have had to like call. I would have to let them know what happened. That I, I flew out in the highway, and um, they, you know what's crazy? They would have made the lady make the food all over again, which is wild because this would have been her third time. It probably would have raised suspicion. But now if she calls and, call and says something about the sandwiches, they're going to be like, wait, first one was too early, this one the order's messed up, and then what? Man, I know someone with a dash cam in that freeway caught that. Caught my, my whole bag just sliding out <laughs> and me just dragging it. Me thinking I lost it, not knowing that it was literally dragging on the ground in an angle. So like that thing was kind of like sideways, so everything kind of was pushed to one side. So the non-tipper um, is gonna have to kind of deal with that again for the third time. Like I said, it's gonna raise suspicion. Doris is gonna be like, "What? How coincidence? First one's too early. This one's messed up." And all right, so you want us to send us food again? Wow. <clears throat> this is what happens when you experiment. <laughs> I didn't think this one um, through, but check this out. You can see where it was dragging. This was the box, and this was the aluminum one. Most of the weight was on the aluminum one, so this thing must have been hanging like this, Dr like just so all the food went to one side. I could see some of the food of the of the hot stuff. I think the sandwiches are fine because they're pretty compact in there. And then the hot food is all the same food. It just probably went to one side. So I think it'll be good enough. But 
if they complain about the food being there too early they're gonna complain about this food for sure but uh yeah i'm not too worried about it all right i'm getting an order for 675 that's a decline Let's see what uber eats is sending me that's a mcdonald's another the decline all right let me just slide this bag in here so the first experiment failed because i got on the freeway and the wind pushed everything back something that it, it didn't even cross my mind honestly i'm getting another doordash one 750 man i need to get away from here because I'm going to keep getting those shitty orders from DoorDash. I'm going to do this delivery and I'm just going to head out of here. Alright. There we go. Alright, we're good. Let's bounce. So I got my Nemesis. Uh, I got a no-tip order. 24 pack of waters. And one top ramen soup. <laughs> so whoever it is, my boy's struggling. That's a poor man's meal right there. Water soup. All right, I got the 24 pack of waters, and these two back. One is a sex toy, and the other one is a top ramen. Very, very interesting deliveries this morning. Also, I have to put in the codes. Let's go ahead and do that right now. So, I like how DoorDash kind of uh, prioritized the sex toy over the water and noodles. Apparently, sex is more important than food, according to Dash Mart. Um, according to DoorDash. Look at these guys. God damn. <laughs> Dude, there's four motherfuckers with flags in front of that spot trying to get mo people to park in there. That's a little overkill. Or you know what? I think it's a competition. Because they got the guys across the street and then got the other guys on the other side. They should just get down, man. They should just squabble up. Start fighting each other with those sticks. Whoever wins, wins both lots. That's it. No more competition. There's no need to have people with flags after that. It's wild. <laughs> so some girl came out to grab that. And uh, she couldn't get out of the, the apartment door. You know how sometimes they lock from the inside. And they have these sen motion sensors. So that you can just uh, walk to it and it unlocks. It either missed her or it locked right away. But she had to show me the code so I could unlock it. So yeah, I handed her the the toy. I had to look at I had looked it up so I had to wait there a little bit. I was like, what is this about? It's like a clitoris stimulator. It looks like a rose. I'm like, alright. She looked like halfway done with her makeup, so I guess she's gonna multitask while she's uh, getting ready for her day. Interesting. Anyway, I got a six dollar order here for Uber Eats, uh, Dave's hot hot chicken. So I'm gonna pick that up, drop it off along the way. Let's do it. Multi app, and just cause sometimes that's the only way to make some decent money especially with these small orders I've been getting all right so let's go in here and snag it that's probably it they don't see me they don't see me oh, it's not her responsibility she's not gonna come out that's probably it right there Oh yeah guys, so I'm recording in 2.7K now, 60 frames per second. I'm trying it out. Um, I mean, it's obviously going to look way better, but uh, I'm going to just see how it does with the battery and editing and all that. Oh, that's that one over there. Alright, thank you, man. You too. 
yeah so i want to see how it does with editing i know it's going to take a little longer but uh i mean i have all the tools now i got a new phone which is uh google pixel 9 pro xl and then uh i also have like a brand new computer that i bought earlier this year was it this year or last year i can't really remember but that thing is super fast and the reason i wanted to do that first before i upgraded my uh you know quality and filming is because you know my older computer would have died it would have overheated trying to process all that no nah, i wouldn't have done that it would have just took so long it was already getting taking kind of long with the uh, regular 1080p with uh 30 frames per second but now the computer i have is so fast and i got fast internet too i got fiber anyway so i had to do all these little upgrades so i could improve the quality so now I look it probably looks super crispy i know a lot of you just listen to this but uh yeah visually now those, those that watch it now you can uh enjoy the little improvement a little crispier a little sharper so i'm excited i can't wait to blow it up on my tv and like kind of watch it and see the, the quality improvement I'm excited it's gonna be the first one we got lapd doing circles here in little tokyo somewhere so let's go find out what it is let's get closer all right well i got about 127 bucks it's 140 it's been very slow very very slow what happened it's over it started going the, the helicopter started going in a straight line so whoever they were looking for they called it off yep he's gone damn it all right well yeah like i said i'm only at a one one uh one something damn 50 items let's do it <laughs> there's gonna be a drink spot a latte shop hell yeah i'm down 50 drinks shit let's do it the last time i did this uh, i did it with a way smaller backpack and uh i was successful let's see let's see what's what is the uh, items 50 items 50 chai lattes iced iced all right cool uh let's see where is it at if they seal them we're a game if not we're gonna have a problem but we'll see we'll figure it out we'll figure it out right now all right so let's see how they seal them Oh yeah, like they don't seal them to put them in this. Really? Let's see what they say. Hello. Let's go see what see what they say about this order. Unfortunately, when I got there, the lady knew who the customer was already, and uh, she basically told me that uh, the customer she has an order scheduled for Friday, but this order she wanted to order it, but for pickup, not delivery. So basically, means uh, I, I uh, went in the chat. I went in the in the option where it says uh store has a uh, i have a problem something else and then i just put that that the order was ordered for delivery and it basically just sent me like an auto text if you cannot place the order you can unassign without completion rate and i just put yeah unassign me and then it assigned me right away and i didn't have to uh 
I didn't uh, I didn't think my completion rate although I would have got I would have liked to get at least half pay so seven bucks at least for that bullshit I just scared the shit out of my customer I guess I went up to the door and I knocked nobody was coming out and I called and I think uh, the person I was delivering to sent somebody so this lady comes out I'm like right there at the door it's like this little driveway she opens the door and she just screams I guess I scared her <laughs> she's like I didn't expect to see someone with a helmet and all like right here whoops that was funny she like jumped back Anyway, uh, where are we at? Damn, this little road here is all messed up. I'm always afraid of running over something sharp around here. Alright. This car is about to go in the wrong way. Terrible. I got an Uber Eats delivery for 37 bucks. Uh, I don't know how many miles it is, but it doesn't look like a big order. It's one, two, three, four, four items. However, it's a Maragame Udon, which is a spot that's kind of difficult to find. So I think people just might have not been able to find it, and you got a lot of a few cancellations. Which is best case scenario because that means that I'll be able to cash in those thirty-seven dollars. But if not, it's just gonna be someone that stole the order. Which I really hope it's not the case. But let's go find out. This spot is uh, just down stairs. It's not like up out here. So maybe drivers might have just circled around, didn't see it. No parking. Just canceled it. This is the spot right here. Marugame. About to find out the truth right now. Did it get picked up already? I hope not. Fingers crossed. Hi. I have a pickup for. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Alright, thank you. It's available. We just came up on $37. Cha-ching. It's going to be all base pay. Watch. You know, it could be possible this was a no tip delivery. That's why people kept canceling it. They feel like it wasn't even worth going to the uh, to go look for the food. So they just canceled. Let's see. We're going to find out right now how much tip is in here. It's thirty-seven dollars total. Now that I see how far it is, and I'm gonna guess that uh, it's a no-tip order. And if there is a tip, it's gonna be like under two dollars. That's my guess. All right, eight sixty right here. All right, I'm just I'm waiting for this picture to upload. Should upload now that I'm out here. There it is see how much let's wait for this thing to load dun 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 how much how much how much all right i'm just waiting for this thing to load if it's below 37 below 35 oh 35 bucks so it's a two dollar tip i told you guys like 35 bucks 37 yep two dollar tip damn on point so that means before they offered the 35 dollar base pay this delivery was probably like five dollars 
yeah like five bucks maybe five to seven bucks and people were like damn for 4.3 miles and then i can't find the spot there's no parking cancel 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 it's the game well we got three cops racing over here calling all units calling all units could be a officer involved shooting who knows I thought they were chasing somebody at first all right I got a double lined up here nothing crazy like a seven and a seven I think let's see oh I didn't even add them on here damn it <clears throat> I think it was seven plus seven it was like a seven dollar one i got another add-on it might have been eight but uh, it's all good just rounding off anyway it might have been no it was seven it was 656 i just remembered and the other one was definitely seven anyway getting close to the 300s baby <clears throat> no rest november's around the corner that's just gonna be brutal and then uh i'm not gonna finish there i'm also gonna go for a. Uh, all out December and the uh, and the uh, <clears throat> end the year strong trying to make 25k in two months which is uh, pretty ridiculous um, but uh, I'm gonna go for it I'll tell you guys more about it uh, yeah, hello just give me like two minutes two minutes all right okay okay so a couple minutes but since I got a new bag let me adjust this this is kind of loose so I'm gonna just tighten this so it's not moving around so much and I'm actually gonna move this closer to my back I could use this as like a backrest so that's that let's move this to I used to have it right here. It might be too much. I don't know why I always do that. I tap things whenever I want to make sure it's like locked in or fixed or it looks right. Have this thing of double tapping or at least tapping once. That looks good. Got a little backrest here. Oh, so I wanted to put a little more air on the ass cushion. Let's put more. Loosen this up. You're supposed to put the least amount of air as possible where the air isn't touching the bottom. All right, that's good. All right. This shit is so comfortable, guys. The the outer shell, though, this little thing is pretty whack. It's already ripped on me. I don't think I've had, <coughs> I don't even think I've used it that much. Damn, look at all that. All right, cool. Let's test this out. Wait, this one. Yeah, same one. All right. By the way, guys, I'm about to hit 8,000 miles on this ADV scooter, and I haven't washed it once. It's pretty filthy. It's pretty... Damn. It'll probably look really nice if I clean it. The only thing I've half cleaned is the this, the, the glass, the windshield, mirrors, screen. That's about it. I think I might have wiped it down once. Other than that, it's like literally not one wash since uh, I bought it. Alright, so I got this other delivery for like nine bucks. I got smashing burgers. Tell me I added it. Yep. 
Uber Eats is coming in late with some good orders. Not good orders, but they have been kind of back to back. Shout out to Uber. 274, hell yeah. It's five, it's about to be six o'clock, damn. Yeah, I could probably, I could push 350. I'm gonna have to be out here till like nine though. No, I got another one, $10. Let's just do it. It's 11, it was 1062, so let's add 11. Oh! On uh, DoorDash, I'm actually at a 70% acceptance rate, so you already know the deal with that. If I uh, turn it on, I'm gonna have to take dirt. I'm gonna have to accept whatever they throw at me to stay on platinum status. So I'll just stick to Uber Eats. If it gets slow, then that's when I'll turn on DoorDash, but Uber Eats has been pretty good. All right, so I'm seeing a lot of uh, Dodger gear, and I realized that there's a very, a very important game going on today. Today, uh, so it's LA Dodgers versus the Mets. Um, so right now, the Dodgers winning. It's uh, Dodger leads three to two for the series. It's game six. So yeah, if the Dodgers win this, they win whatever the hell is uh, on the line. I don't know if it's an actual World Series. I have no idea, I haven't been keeping up. But if the Dodgers win, and they win whatever the hell they're gonna win right now, it's gonna be wild in the streets. Uh, that should be fun. Uh, it's still early, six o'clock. That game doesn't look like it's gonna end till like nine o'clock, eight or nine o'clock. So it'll be near when I'm wrapping up. So I can actually wrap up and go drive around and check out the chaos in the street. That is if the Dodgers win. If not, then I think it'll go on to like game uh, seven, which would uh, save the chaos for another day. I've never been in this little street. All right, I got a delivery in here. All right, I threw on the uh, DoorDash app. I cannot decline anything. <laughs> so whatever pops out on that screen, we're gonna do it. It's gonna get dark soon. Uh, footage looks like shit, even with the 1080p. This doesn't do really good at night. Look, it looks like they're gonna tear this building down. It's been abandoned for a while. Yeah, I think it's gonna. I wonder what they're gonna replace, replace it with apartments most likely. All right, I got I decided to not do DoorDash anymore just because. Oh yeah, I don't want to take garbage in this very critical time. It's a unique day today. I'm starting to realize, damn, it's like I live under a rock. So I guess New York Mets is playing Dodgers at Los Angeles Dodgers today, right? And that's the game that's going on right now. Dodgers wins, they win the World Series. Uh, Dodgers lose, they go to Game 7. So uh, that's a huge rivalry. And uh, New York Mets is actually the favorite. Uh, so Derek, I mean, that's wild because Dodgers are winning right now. They might actually take it. So it's, gonna, it's, pretty, it's a pretty significant uh, game that's going on right now. And I've like had no idea until like right now. So it's definitely going to be busy for the remainder of the night. It's not going to be safe. I think once the Dodgers win or lose, or if the Dodgers win, I got about 30 minutes before things start getting a little hectic out here. Wouldn't it be smart to be riding around in a scooter? It wouldn't be wise, but it probably will be fun. <laughs> Just to see all the chaos in the streets. I got two pickups here. It's gonna be wild. Uh, yeah, willing the World Series is like pretty, uh, pretty big deal. Anyway, so I got a couple pickups. Yeah, I got a couple.
so game six Dodgers are up five points and I think they're on the eighth inning it looks like uh, looks like these guys are gonna win it let me go chill real quick have a brewski Let's go check it out so it's uh two strikes one ball there's two outs already the Dodgers are basically about to win right now so hopefully we can get a reaction oh that's it that's it oh he got to first base <laughs> wish I could show you I guess Dodgers advanced to the World Series but Dodgers always do that they, they've done it a lot it's 21 they've done it 21 times I read it's like the most in NHL history I'm like all right cool so and it ain't uh, it ain't uncommon for them to go to the World Series for them winning it though that's a whole different ball game anyway that game was here in the Dodger Stadium, so I mean, it takes the cars to get out of there. It takes them like a while, but by the time they start coming out, the streets are gonna be pretty crazy. I already hear the traffic. You hear a lot of tires screeching, a lot of acceleration. You know, like the driving patterns uh, begin to change. So I'm just gonna call it a night. No worth, it's not worth risking it for like another 20 30 40 50 bucks uh, tomorrow I'm gonna come out uh, 7 in the morning 8 in the morning and uh, have another big day yep all right so I'm gonna wrap it up made about 360 no three yeah 353 bucks more or less uh, I wanted to hit 400, but yeah, I got a little late. Like I said, I'm not trying to be out here. Plus, not only do I have to go through downtown LA while all that crazy traffic is like going through, I actually have to co go through the hood too, and the hood is like another crazy. Speaking of crazy, look, there's all this smoke right here. What? Something's burning or what? It's white smoke. I'm just burning. It's an alley. Oh look, fire truck. Okay, it was burning, but I guess they took it out. See, there's always something happening in the hood. Hood can't take a break, man. <laughs> Should I pull up? Look, these guys are hustling. What's going on? Like I said, it's just white smoke, so they already took it out. Part of the business. Got here too late. You see all the smoke? All right, well, we're out. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you guys on tomorrow's video. Peace. Oh, by the way, it was like 271. There's some tips I haven't loaded yet. But 271 and like 80 something on DoorDash. Let's see. 87. 87 on DoorDash. Yep.